hello <laughs> it is going like really overcast and really cold so i'm gonna be bundled up um anyway hi i wanted to share like a little bit of a conversation because i just like had a little bit of a pep talk with a friend and <clears throat> i think more people can hear it so i want to share it um because it's something that i've kind of had to like navigate and learn over the past year and yeah caught me off guard in the times where like I was kind of like thought I was doing the right thing and then realized I wasn't and I was like what the fuck do you mean because I guess like what I want to talk about it's like it's to do with boundaries and it's also to do with like feeling in alignment and it's also to do with just like how you want your life to look and I think a lot of people just because it's it was a big conversation that I always heard, which was that, you know, like you should always be in flow with life. And you should always like accept the things that come to you because the universe will present you with opportunities and you need to be ready to say yes. And don't be afraid to like, don't be afraid to say yes. And like, don't turn things down and like everything like that. And I think that's really great advice. And I think that's so, so, so true. It's where and how a lot of my life has like been shaped and I don't want to discredit the fact that I think it is something that people struggle with. Like I think, I think people can come from the place of that I had come from, which was like, well, you can probably come from multiple different places, but I know that personally I was, always, I just didn't know how to make decisions for my life. I, I didn't know how to choose things. I didn't know what the next thing would be. And I didn't know that I was in flow. I was just scared to make choices. And thankfully things would come into my life. And I didn't always say yes to them. This is the thing. It's like, I didn't always say yes to them. I sometimes did just let them pass me by. I didn't always grab hold of the opportunity, which I think is where a lot of people can find themselves. Um, and so like sometimes the first lesson in this whole like co-creation of the universe and like being accepting and being open and being receptive, sometimes that first step is learning how to say yes and learning how to follow opportunities that might not make logical sense to you. Like I think it is maybe a bit of a lesson of like being in the feminine, just like accepting things that maybe don't always look like the most obvious and right and logical and clear cut decision. But if it feels right to you to follow that feeling and just to allow it to happen and trust it. And that's a really hard thing. <laughs> it's not, it's not easy. It's scary. Um, but it's definitely a beautiful, like transformational thing that once you get in the flow and once you, start doing it you understand you understand it and you build that muscle and you build that trust and you start becoming more familiar with the process of life in that way like when you're walking along your path and you might be sensing a time of change coming about and I know that I get scared if I don't have options in front of me to choose from, or if I don't know what I'm about to needing, if I don't know what I need to do, there is still that moment of fear of like, oh no, I'm sensing that things are gonna shift and things are gonna change. And I'm like, I don't know what's gonna change. Like I've recently gone through it. I was like, I don't know what's gonna change. I don't know how things are gonna change. I had an inkling in the back of my head, but I was a little bit resistant. But you know, you start to become familiar with like the patterns that happen in life and timing and feelings. And that's so powerful. And it is so life changing when you do that. But I was talking with a friend um, today that, like, the, I guess, like, the evolution of that interaction, that choice, and that lesson is that, at least what I found, is that the universe will also start throwing things into your life and giving you options that aren't meant for you. And so it's almost like the, once you learn to say yes, you also then need to learn to say no. And that's like another way to check in with yourself. Cause you know what, like, you know what I mean? Like there's that first, there's the first thing of like learning to understand the yes that comes from your body in a way of like something coming into your life and being able to be like, oh, I really want that thing, but I'm a bit scared cause it looks a bit unstable, but I'm really feeling drawn to it. And so you feel yes, and then you learn to be receptive and you learn to be like, ah, yes, I trust the universe. Everything's coming to me because it's meant to be blah, 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 blah. 
And then I found myself in the past like year or so like coming into a place of the universe then presenting me with multiple options and a lot of them feeling like yeses and needing to distinguish which ones felt I guess yes is the wrong word, but all of them felt, all of them feel intriguing. Like all of them intrigue you. All of them are these elusive options that don't feel maybe not unstable is probably the wrong word, but all of them can feel outside of the box. All of them feel interesting. All of them feel like different paths that you could go down that would bring you different lessons. And it's where I guess that need to tune into like a deeper sense of not just yes or not just something that lights you up or something that's exciting but what feels like the thing that your life want like what feels like the thing that your life wants to be shaped by like all of them seem like beautiful options all of them seem like things that are great but which one feels like the thing which one feels like the box which one feels like the house that you want to step into which one want to which one feels like rather not the house which one feels like the tunnel that you want to go through to shape your life and that's like a little bit of a deeper sense of like the yes it's a bit of a deeper connection to yourself and it's also an exercise sometimes in saying no like sometimes you can be on a path and things can come in and what I had to figure out was that like sometimes things coming in doesn't always mean that your path has to change sometimes that can be an option or it can be a point where you do have to check in with your with yourself and say no the path that i'm on is the one that i want to be on and the one the thing that's coming in right now isn't the thing that i'm supposed to choose or maybe right now isn't the time to choose it right now isn't the time to let it into my life right now isn't the time to be receptive to this option or maybe this option isn't the thing that i want to be receptive to and that can be kind of scary especially if you've come out of like the lesson of Choosing things and accepting things and being receptive to things in life broadens my experience and deepens my experience and awakens me to new things. And like when you go through this thing of expansion, it feels weird to like start retracting again. But it also makes sense as I say that. And I just, I guess I just want to talk about that a little bit more. And I just want to encourage people a little bit more that there is expansion and there is also retraction and both have value. And it's making more sense to me now, like each day I live, that like when you go through one lesson, you'll go through the lesson of the polar opposite and you're supposed to, because you're supposed to understand both and you're never supposed to stay in one state for very long. And again, it's a new, it's a different kind of scary. It's a different kind of, it's the same thing of just like, oh, I don't know if I can trust this mode of decision-making um, and that's exactly how you feel. Like you're back to square one. You're back to not really knowing anything. You're back to having been a certain way and having like lived your life a certain way for so long. And you're now faced with another evolution of, oh no, now I have to second guess everything that I've known for the past couple of years and all the ways that I've known to check in with myself and make decisions and anything like it and that's that's a good thing it's a good thing to be humbled and to be thrown back into the position of square one i know shit about shit i'm back to feeling scared again well not scared but like i'm back to feeling like i have to figure out trust again or i have to develop a new relationship with trust with the life around me and with myself and yeah i guess it just for me it just it is like, it is like, a, I know it's not a tall poppy syndrome thing, but I do find that like that shit happens like as soon as I start and it, it can be exhausting and maybe this is just the life of like immutable, maybe it's a mutable cycle thing, but it does feel like as soon as I get comfortable with a certain way of life and a certain expectation that the universe is like, all right, change. <laughs> and maybe that's like Pluto fourth house. Maybe that's Sagittarius fourth house. Maybe that's I don't know, maybe that's mutability, but I think I was personally like wrestling with it maybe a couple weeks ago. I was wrestling with this thing of just like, fuck, why can't I just stay in the thing that I know? 
Why, like, there's nothing wrong here. Why do I have to change? Why do things have to change? Why, like, why can't I just keep doing what I've been doing? And I'm understanding that, like, I can, if I really want to, I can just keep doing the thing that I'm doing, but what's being opened up to me right now and what I'm understanding by this greater perspective of these shifts of taking on my life, it is that like change is kind of always necessary in a way. And you can hold it off if you want and you can just keep doing the same thing that you're doing if you want. If you're not feeling like you're not ready, like the universe isn't going to like punish you immensely. Um, if you hold things off for a little bit, I know that I have. You do eventually feel it though. I eventually feel it. You begin to feel stuck. You begin to feel stagnant. You begin to feel restless. Um, so I'm also learning that like that exhaustion and that resistance, that's just like, fuck, nothing's wrong. Why do I have to change? Why? 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 Why should I? Growth and learning and experiencing and to show you that it's okay to continuously have no idea what you're doing because you never do. Because if I want to have a pep talk to myself, realistically, Annabelle, you're 25. As if you're going to have everything figured out right now. As if you're going to settle into life that you know everything and that the way you have been making decisions for the past three years is the right way to make decisions for the rest of your life. As if, girly, and I need to be saying this to myself until I'm like 60. Because <laughs> that's reality. I think at least. And so, yeah, I just wanted to speak a bit on like the lesson of receptivity and going with the flow and saying yes and accepting the things that universe brings into your life is so important and I think it's so great but also if you're finding that yourself in that um at that crossroads where crossroads <laughs> crossroads if you're finding yourself at that crossroads where there is that call to like start considering things differently and to start like co-creating your life in a different way because I guess that's what it is it's like an invitation to be able to decide what your life looks like again if you come from like a similar similar place where i came from of just re not really knowing how to decide and getting anxious or worried that decisions weren't like a strong suit or like you didn't know how to choose for yourself and then this beautiful thing of like letting the universe decide for you came into your life and you're like oh thank god that's great it feels so relieving um I guess the thing that what I started to learn was that and like why I guess the lesson start to just like the lesson had to start kind of evolving was that if you do remain in that state too long you can become you can be at the mercy of the universe and you can kind of lose your sovereignty and your free will in a sense like if you do just sit in a state of continuous receptivity with no like action of your own agency in your own life um, you can kind of just start accepting things that aren't in alignment with you like I started to lose my alignment and just be way too open like I had no boundaries I had no sense of agency or sovereignty or choice and that was I guess the part of the lesson that was the turning point um, that I think was necessary to teach me like all right this is good and now you know how to do this you need to know how to do the opposite you need to know how to do both you need to know how to say yes and you need to know that you can trust the universe but you also need to know that you have power in yourself and you know what you want in yourself you know how you want your life to look you know the things that feel good for you you know the things that feel right for you so trust yourself to choose um, so yeah, if you have like a familiar, if that, if this feels familiar for you, like it might not be the same for everyone. Like this is the thing, like everyone's going to come from different paths and like 
what comes into my head just now why I'm saying this is that like human design is coming into my relevancy right now and I know that like it's it, that's like very I think human design does a lot of like work with I guess your life paths and stuff like that I'm a generator I'm an like emotional generator what if that makes a difference I have no idea but I know that for and like generators are supposed to follow the things that feel right for them or like they'll light them up um, but I know that like projectors, for example, are supposed to accept invitations and stuff like that. But I think, and like reflectors are supposed to, I don't actually know what a lot of them are. I don't actually know a lot about anything, but I do think that a lot of them have to go through this journey. They just might have to learn slightly different. I think everyone would just kind of learn different lessons about it and like maybe have different outcomes. But this has been the outcome for me, is that I needed to soften into receptivity and then I also needed to begin to understand discernment and understand that I am also allowed to shape my world as much as the world is allowed to shape me. And that is empowering. And yeah, just in, if anyone needs to hear that, like if you're at that point, it's okay to start choosing for yourself again and it doesn't mean that once you start choosing for yourself you then like shut off completely to the universe you'll still get the op opportunities will stay it's it's okay to say no I guess is what this is all climaxing to is that like it's okay to say no if you say no more things will still come saying no once doesn't mean that you're cutting yourself off from the universe indefinitely and entirely it's okay to say no it's okay to turn things away. It's okay to understand that something might look great and might feel great and shiny and new and fun and exciting, but it doesn't feel, if it doesn't feel good for you, you can say no and there will be things after it. Um, and that's it. It feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good. So yeah, you don't want to be as much, you want to be a co-creator. You want to be a part of the creation of your life. Um, you know, just want to be at the mercy of things coming into you and not having any say. Um, and you also like that, it, it, I guess it also gets you into that abundance mindset. I don't really know a hundred percent what people talk about when they're talking about that, but I think this is maybe it. I think the abundance mindset is that thing of like understanding that everything is coming towards you and everything is in alignment for you, but also knowing that there is safety and there is like integrity in turning away the things that don't feel right for you even if they seem interesting and fun and like new and different and maybe they and maybe people around you would be really attracted by those opportunities you know like maybe an opportunity comes into your life that one of your best friends like would have died for and maybe your best friend's like oh my gosh you should definitely do that but like maybe that opportunity needs to be passed on to them or like you know what I mean like I, like I'll, I'll, hopefully you have people around you that have your best interests at heart but like that's also a thing is that like maybe that people around you could also be telling you to accept opportunities because it seems like the opportunity that seems beautiful to them and that's also I guess something to take into note I don't know why I started saying that it's never really happened to me but maybe someone needs to hear that don't know <laughs> but yeah it's amazing to be receptive. It's great to say yes, but it's also amazing to be discerning. And it's great to say no. Um, both things are important. And I hope if you're at that place, this helps you. And that's the thing we're always learning. And I'm sure there's gonna be another thing. There's gonna be another thing. I feel like I'm only on like step two of like 70. Again, 25. Don't know shit about shit. Learning. We're learning this together, babe. Um, yeah. Again, I get cute. Pep talks are always fun. I need to tell them to myself so often. And we should also pep talk each other. So say yes. Say no. But just make sure it's the thing that feels good for you. Make sure it's the thing that can get you a little bit excited. But also at the same time... There's that like, there's that sense of peace. There might be excitement, there might be jitters, there might be like, oh my gosh, but there is also that deeper stillness that's like, 
this one. This is it. Also, it's important that if you pick that thing and then like months and months and months and months go by or a couple things go by, it's important to understand that like sometimes the things that you are meant to pick don't always mean that they're going to lead you to like, sometimes things can lead you to like difficult lessons. That doesn't mean you picked the wrong thing, by the way, also. That's another video in itself entirely, but I just want to tack that on to you as well at the end because sometimes that can be a fear when you're making decisions. It's like, what if I pick the wrong thing? Or what if it leads me down to a path of heartbreak and awfulness? Is that like, well, it's probably going to come no matter what you choose. So there's no wrong decisions also. Decisions are hard. I'm going to stop talking now, but... Good luck. Hope the Gemini full moon has been good. You're probably thinking about a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if decisions are coming up in a big way. Air signs, Gemini, choices, multiple choices, seeing both sides and being like, oh my God, everything's so interesting. I want to do everything. Maybe that is a thing for you right now. Who knows? Not me. All I know is that I need to go get more spring water. And to an assignment. Wish me luck. <clears throat> Bye.